The Miami Dolphins are stirring up excitement in South Florida and among their fan base, but there are reasons to hold our collective breaths. When the Dolphins take the field in late July, we will get our first look at what the Dolphins will look like in 2022. The pads will come on, contact will lead to competition, and Mike McDaniel's offensive system will be on display, training camp will lead to the preseason and that will lead to final roster cuts and then, some 90 days or so from now. The Miami Dolphins will take the field against the Patriots to kick off the 2022 season. Fans are not overly concerned about the defensive side of the ball. The Dolphins didn't lose anyone specifically important. In fact, only one or two players from last year's team are no longer here and they were depth guys. The starters and second team units remain intact. The biggest change to the defense is the loss of Brian Flores. Was he the catalyst for the creation of a top unit? Did he call the defense on game day or was Josh Boyer the guy? That question will be answered throughout the year but Boyer seems to be more than capable of keeping that side of the ball trending upwards. With new wrinkles that he will employ, this year's defense could be the best in decades. This is a small concern heading into the season but not a huge one right now. There are other areas that are more concerning than the defensive side of the ball. Nothing is more concerning for the Miami Dolphins than the offensive line. Taron Armstead's addition to the offensive line unit was a good one. An elite left tackle for certain and the addition of Connor Williams was a very smart move as well but what about the rest of the line, Miami is banking on Matt Applebaum to coach up the players on the unit. Specifically guys like Austin Jackson and Liam Eikenberg who were drafted high and have yet to stand out. Jackson is reportedly moving to the right tackle spot and Eikenberg will move to guard. Williams on the other hand appears to be moving to center, a position that he has not played at the NFL level. Williams is embracing the move but is it the right move for the Dolphins, a story we don't talk about too much is Armstead. Armstead is one of the best but he also has injury issues so who will back him up when he misses time. That is a concern as well and the Dolphins' depth along the offensive line consists of unproven young players who have struggled most of the time when given a chance. Considering Williams and Armstead's experience, Adam Pankey is the next with the most experience. He has five seasons in the NFL. Most of the other linemen have three years or less and we know how bad the Olean has been the last three seasons. There is no question that the biggest concern is the offensive line but what about Tua Tagovailoa's ability to lead the Miami Dolphins, Tyreek Hill has had nothing but good things to say about his new quarterback. In Hill's opinion, Tua is more accurate than Patrick Mahomes, he said as much on his podcast last week. He also said that Tua has the arm strength to throw the deep ball, that's great but can Tua take the next big leap in his career and lead this offense? That question will be the most scrutinized this entire offseason and throughout the season. More than the questions about the offensive line, Tua has to produce this year. He doesn't need to win the Super Bowl and he may not get this team to the playoffs. There are a lot of other reasons that can happen but statistically, Tua has to show that he is a franchise quarterback and can be the guy in Miami, there is no Deshaun Watson standing behind him as a lurking shadow but there are wisps of Tom Brady. A very good year from Tua would put those to rest as well, Tua, for the first time in his NFL career. Has the support of his coaches and has the talent surrounding him that he hasn't had before, the excuses for Tua are no longer viable and that means that 2022 has to be better.